Ah, the sound of the whistle blowing in a soccer game. It's the sound of fair play and sportsmanship, but sometimes it's also the sound of controversy and bad decision. And in some cases, it can be the sound of a referee getting banned from the game forever. Today, we're going to take a look at some of the craziest banned referees in football. First up is Graham Pohl, a referee from England who made a name for himself in the 2006 World Cup. During a game between Croatia and Australia, he famously showed three yellow cards to the same player player before finally sending him off. I mean, come on, three yellows? What's next, four goals in a game? <laughs> Needless to say, he was not invited back to officiate in the rest of the tournament. And neither was this next referee, Byron Moreno, a referee from Ecuador who had a rather interesting game during the 2002 World Cup. During the quarterfinal match between Italy and South Korea, Moreno made a number of questionable calls that favored the home team. Italy eventually lost the game, and Moreno was banned from officiating for life after being caught with counterfeit goods at an airport. I guess he figured if he couldn't make the right calls on the field, he might as well try his luck in the black market and sell some chill pills to this next referee. Clive Thomas, a Welsh referee, had a reputation for being strict but fair. However, during a 1978 World Cup between Brazil and Sweden, he blew the final whistle just as Brazil scored what would have been the game-winning goal. Needless to say, Brazil was not happy, and Thomas was not invited back to referee in any further World Cup games. Talk about bad timing. I guess Thomas just wanted to make sure everyone got home in time for tea. A similar thing happened to this next referee. Luis Medina Cataleo, a Spanish referee, is best remembered for a controversial call during a 2005 Champions League match between Chelsea and Barcelona. After awarding a penalty to Barcelona, Cataleo was surrounded by angry Chelsea players who accused him of bias. He was subsequently banned from officiating in any other games, I guess you could say he found himself in a real penalty box situation. But when Mike Dean did it, it turned him into a meme. Mike is an English referee and is known for his flamboyant style and larger-than-life personality. However, he's also made some questionable decisions during his career. In 2015, he famously sent off West Ham's Sofiane during a game against Manchester United, despite the fact that it was a perfectly legal challenge. The decision was widely criticized, and Dean has since become a somewhat of a meme in the soccer community. But hey, at least he's got a sense of humor about it. In a 2019 game between Arsenal and Aston Villa, he said, celebrated an Arsenal goal by appearing to do a little dance on the sideline. Maybe he's just trying to distract us from his questionable calls with his sweet move. Next up, we have Tony Chaperon, a French referee who made headlines in 2018 after kicking a player during a game between Nantes and PSG. I mean, I know sometimes the players can be frustrating, but violence is never the answer. Needless to say, Chaperon was banned from officiating for three months and announced his retirement from refereeing shortly after. I guess he realized he was better suited for the karate mat than the soccer field. But let me tell you about the worst referee in history. This guy was so bad, he makes VAR look good. He was in charge of the 1966 World Cup final between England and West Germany. And let's just say he didn't have his finest hour. He missed a ghost goal from England, awarded a dodgy penalty, disallowed a legitimate West German goal, and even blew the final whistle two minutes early. I mean, who does that? It's like he was wearing a blindfold and earplugs at the same time. To put it mildly, the fans were not happy. The West Germans were livid, the English were relieved, and the referee was probably wishing he'd taken up knitting instead. But at least he didn't throw punches like this next referee. Lu Jun, a Chinese referee, found himself in hot water after a match in 2012 between Shanghai, Shenhua, and Beijing Guan. It seems that Lu Jun had a bit of a temper problem and couldn't resist getting into an argument with a player. The argument quickly escalated into a full-blown brawl, with Lu Jun throwing punches like he was auditioning for a role in Rocky. Unfortunately for Lu Jun, the whole thing was caught on camera and the Chinese Football Association wasn't too pleased. They promptly banned him for a year, which gave him plenty of time to work on his left hook and his anger management skills. Maybe he can take up boxing instead of refereeing. He's got the punch down at least. But he ain't got slight problems like this next referee. Martin Hansen, a Swedish referee, was once a respected figure in the football world. But all that changed after a fateful match in 2009 between France and Ireland. In the dying minutes of the game, Thierry Henry clearly used his hand to control the ball and set up the winning goal for France. Unfortunately, Hansen was the only person in the stadium who didn't see it. 
When the replay was shown on the big screen, the entire stadium erupted in anger. And poor Martin was left standing there looking like a deer caught in the headlight. The fallout from the incident was massive, with calls for Martin's resignation and even death threat. Eventually, Martin decided to step down from refereeing and go into hiding, where he could only dream of what might have been if he had just remembered to bring his glasses that day. But what's one of the most notorious cases of a referee getting banned? It was Massimo Busaka. The Swiss referee had a reputation for being strict but fair until a match between Arsenal and Barcelona in the Champions League changed everything. In that match, Busaka made a controversial decision to send off Arsenal's Robin van Persie for allegedly kicking the ball away after the whistle had been blown. The decision infuriated Arsenal's manager, Arsene Wenger, who accused Busaka of being incompetent and disgraceful. The incident led to a media firestorm with fans and pundits alike calling for Busaka's head. Eventually, UEFA decided to ban Busaka from refereeing any further matches in that year's Champions League. While the ban was a major blow to Busaka's career, it also served as a reminder to referees everywhere that they must always remain vigilant and make the right decisions, even in the face of intense pressure. But hold on to your yellow and red cards, because next up, we have a referee who really liked to hand them out like candy. During a game in Brazil, referee Jose Roberto Roberto Wright pulled not one, not two, not three, but four red cards and a whopping 16 yellow cards. Now, that's what I call a referee who's not afraid to make a bold statement. I mean, who needs subtlety when you can just throw out every color of the rainbow? Maybe he was trying to start a new trend, like rainbow card soccer. Or let's make this game even more confusing. But one thing's for sure, this game must have been a real doozy. With that many cards being handed out, I wouldn't be surprised if the players started handing them out to each other just for fun. Hey, you get a yellow card, and you get a yellow card, and you get a red card, and you get a red card. And finally, we have Anders Frisk, a Swedish referee who made the mistake of angering one of the most powerful men in soccer, Jose Mourinho. In a Champions League match between Chelsea and Barcelona in 2005, Frisk awarded Barcelona a controversial penalty, which Mourinho was not happy about. He accused Frisk of conspiring with Barcelona's coach, and the referee was forced to retire due to death threats from angry fans. I guess you could say that Frisk paid the ultimate price for making Mourinho mad, but not only did he anger Jose Mourinho, but he also once accidentally sprayed a player in the face with vanishing spray during a match. Talk about taking things too far. Anders, I'm pretty sure the spray is supposed to disappear into thin air, not into a player's face. Man, these referees were something else, but nothing compared to the player whom people called the next Ronaldinho, who destroyed his entire career in a couple of seconds. I know you want to hear more about it, so click on the video.